Hi LBJ, this is Leah Netterman coming to you from Fort Worth, Texas, where I'm visiting my mom for the Labor Day weekend. Angie asked me to talk to you guys for a few minutes about what I've been doing since graduation, and I'm very happy to do so. Uh, just after I graduated uh, with a double master's from the LBJ School and the Latin American Studies program, I moved to Haiti, where I worked for Haiti's largest microfinance institution. So we delivered financial services to the poor in Haiti. Most of our clients lived under $2 a day, which meant that uh, they don't have electricity, running water, they have trouble sending their children to school, and sometimes they don't have enough to eat. But what they do have is very, very small or micro businesses. And they need capital for their businesses, just like people in the United States need capital for their businesses. They just need it on a different level, on a smaller scale. So that's what we did. Our starting loan was $75, just to give you a feel for the type of clientele we were working with. But we took a very holistic approach to financial services, so we also offered savings accounts, health education services, basic literacy, numeracy, and business skills. It was a wonderful organization. I had a great time working there. And beyond that, I think that it really has set me up well for the rest of my career. I think it has lent me a lot of credibility in international development, having that field experience, really knowing what it's like to try to do microfinance on the ground has served me well since leaving Haiti. So now I'm in Washington, D.C. I've been there for about a year, and I am working as a private consultant, still in microfinance, but just doing different projects for microfinance companies around the world. Just to give you an example of one of the projects I'm working on, it's called the Campaign for Client Protection, and we call it client protection in microfinance, but it's probably more commonly known as consumer protection. And it's very similar to the consumer protection that you know, but um, when you're working in microfinance, you're usually working with very poor people who are very vulnerable, um, with low literacy levels, and they may not be that familiar with how financial services work. So this campaign is to try to raise awareness among microfinance institutions of the particular vulnerabilities of the client population that they're working with and then to help them improve their consumer protection practices. Uh, so that's just one example of, of uh, a consulting project that I'm doing. I love consulting. I would highly recommend it for people that feel like they're a self-starter that can get themselves out of bed in the morning and work for 10 hours without having a, a boss sort of looking over their neck breathing down their neck. Um, I get to travel a lot. Um, recently I've been to Switzerland, Peru, Kenya, Uganda, um, which I really love getting to interact with people from all over the world in the field of microfinance. And I would say just in general that microfinance is still an industry that's very much in development. So if you're interested in development work, you're interested in international policy, um, I would encourage you to look into the field. You can, you can look me up via email or just do some research on your own. Um, but I think it's a really exciting field and, and if this has piqued your interest, I'd encourage you to look into it. Thanks a lot.